critics claim again it's the critics that claim that voluntary credits are non additional right can you actually talk about any projects in india which is actually doing some good and reducing the emissions absolutely absolutely i mean nothing is with a broad brush absolutely not everything is non additional in any system in any sample there's always things that are less good and some that are a uh, better yes absolutely i mean non additional is there are so many projects i mean the majority probably are completely additional they would never have happened had there not been a carbon incentive out there many of them relied on that carbon incentive so it's very tough to generalize and it's quite dangerous to generalize okay let's say okay and do you believe and it's it's a question from a lot of people like climate finance when we talk about it's only for bigger corporates not the smaller ones what about india's msmes and smaller companies that can be we have a structural uh, obstacle in reaching them okay they are all eligible they should they are all eligible and this is where i think a lot of digitization is is helpful and even to the point of necessary it's hard to aggregate them it's hard to reach them all one by one until we have structural aggregators transaction costs will be very high and they will also not be able to discover how yeah. they can access these this instrument that's out there i mean over the years there's any number of requests i have gotten over the last decade and more little companies saying i want to access carbon credits and they absolutely should but the transaction costs just don't make it worthwhile for them we've got to remove that layer okay but in in the future that that might just get removed and they would also be part of this uh, they no, can be it won't happen it until won't happen. we deliberately make an effort of making it happen our carbon okay. markets have to be completely digitized that's just that's a given we should really not be engaging with and i've said this before with almost no human being in between okay so, completely digital yeah okay and what is a climate finance buzzword which is soaking a lot of capital today but it's not having that impact that it should climate finance itself okay <laughs> it has a lot of there's, there's any number of workshops on it and there's any number of meetings on it okay <laughs> so mean, that is okay so there's a lot of fun that is going on on it but no impact there's a lot of talk no there is impact there's a lot of talk but um there's 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 a lot of talk there needs to be more it's more like money. more of consultations again and again happening there's a but lot, yeah there's a lot no results no actions no less, outputs coming out less 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 results less actions it's not easy to do but there's uh, not enough i think sometimes there's not enough account- accountability in these common systems okay that's that becomes a problem uh we also let i'm talking about an international regulation here the europe union that has come out with cross border adjustment mechanism yeah right do you think it will impact india's steel industry i just want to quote a number here when we say in 2022 was 27% of india's iron aluminum and steel products worth 8.2 billion dollar went to the european union this is and there's a data from the government directly so do you think this regulation will impact our industry yeah But, yeah or I mean, would you say that it is a good boon for us not a threat but it's a catalyst maybe this will help us improve i think we're doing already a lot uh will it affect us yes but we're doing uh, we're already doing a lot what we'll need to do is because we have this regulation that's upon us and it affects our exports uh if we just were better at capturing the many ways we have already integrated climate change concerns into the production of our steel unit okay and we have including all the way down to assess for coal and the energy that is being used for that production of steel and all the if we combined everything the t- the bill would be less at the border so we've got to just become a little bit better at putting the full package okay we have had a greater renewable energy program than many other countries for a long time a long time and we've had steel efficiency is certainly for steel we've had efficiency improvements for a long 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 time many of our steel plants are actually quite efficient 
that's that said Maynard. we hit upon this tax at, or this bill on the border on the other side so one is i think it will force us to organize ourselves to represent our own data better because we have been doing a lot second will it help us improve it yeah. should it should but not at the detriment of anybody's competitiveness because we have a very serious commitment back home as well so it should but it shouldn't also affect one industry versus another right i mean it shouldn't really affect it shouldn't affect our competitiveness got it and there's another sort of question that have been asked by a lot of people again so there is there are various types of carbon offsets that happen one is the removal the reduction and there is there is an avoided emissions yeah which is more on that you earn offset while you're protecting a forest for example that it will not be cut down from mm-hmm. deforestation but there have been cases wherein it was discovered that these forests were never in a situation to be harmed nobody was anyways not cutting it what are you doing with protecting them and earning something out of it so i sit on the board i chair the board now of um an avoided deforestation uh, accelerator let's say we uh, created this a small group of us during the covid lockdown years and please to say we're now the biggest entity in in town Okay. we're a not for profit organism where we use carbon credits not because they're carbon credits because it is a mechanism out there and it is probably the only mechanism to channel money and in this case we're channeling money to forests that are at risk of deforestation one way or the other we have been transacting these contracts between sovereign units sovereigns and private entities because they're the ones who want the carbon credits so the money goes into a uh, a sovereign entity to protect those forests which are under threat now that said goes back to sample sizes always some portion of forests around the world which are not under threat yes they are under protected lands and so on and so forth that is just good good integrity and proper business you don't target those areas because they're not really your candidate yes so this it is our only way to keep forest standing we could not do it in the un system when the kyoto protocol was born we could not put out a system for protecting forests from deforestation and because of that a number of us got together back back then and we have this organism today that trades in in fact millions of dollars transacts in millions of dollars today. okay and it's the only way to i just i can't think of any other instrument that come countries can use um to incentivize um avoiding deforestation no okay so it's more of a monitoring that's required it's a lot of, of monitoring technology has a yeah. big role to it's play it's a good it. way of getting on offsets but yeah it's the monitoring it's, that's missing yeah it's I mean. a wholesale way of getting offsets the monitoring okay. is of course monitoring is required but these are very large tracts of land where you don't send human beings to do surveys i mean you do that exactly. as well but you don't rely on that right you do digital monitoring and the whole monitoring system it goes back to you know digitizing a lot a lot a lot more so today we're using sampling and things like that but okay so it is happening it might just get removed some day it's happening a lot where where definitely the largest uh entity in the world now okay where six where five years old and we're the only one work uh, only people working at scale it's a it's a not profit called emergentclimate.com okay. is the website 